Do you have a big document that you need to digest quickly, but you're running short of time? Well, why not let a free AI tool help you? Welcome to AI Life Hacks, a fun series showing you simple ways to use artificial intelligence to help you to save time in life. Today, I'm going to show you how to summarize a document using three different generative AI tools, ChatGPT, ChatPDF, and SummerScript. For this example, I'm going to use a document that's freely available on the web, which means that I'm not worried about privacy concerns, but we will discuss privacy at the end of this video. Now, my work involves reading lots of technical academic research papers, many of which are way outside of my field of expertise. This means I'm often looking up new terms and trying to make sense of complex content. For today's example, I'm going to use this scientific paper. It's all about transformers in generative AI. And if you didn't know, the T in ChatGPT stands for Transformer. You can summarize any text you want to read, such as from a Wikipedia article about artificial intelligence or a business report about the future of work. Start by opening up your favorite free generative AI program. Today, I'm going to use ChatGPT. Either copy and paste the text you want summarized into the message window or upload your file using this paperclip symbol. Next, type in your prompt, remembering to use the reset technique. For a great result, be clear in specifying if you want the summary for a specific audience, such as senior management or high school students. Define what the summary is for, slides for a lecture, an email to work colleagues, or just bullet point notes for you. And don't forget, you can set the tone as professional if it's work or colloquial if you're just reading it yourself. Here's my prompt. Act as a professional summarizer and provide a comprehensive summary of the attached text for university students. The summary should cover all of the key points and main ideas while condensing the information into an easy to understand format. Please ensure that any complex jargon is explained in a way that a non-expert can understand. The length of the summary should be enough to provide a clear and accurate overview without omitting any important information. And there you go, a short summary of a big meaty paper. Now, I will still read the paper in full, but creating a summary like this before I read the whole paper helps me to understand the highlights and the main points. This makes it easier to follow and helps me to understand more on the first read-through, saving me time in the long run as I don't need to keep going back and forwards rereading sections to try and gain context. Okay, so that's one solution. However, this series is about introducing you to other generative AI programs that you might not have tried yet. So here are two of my favorites. The first one is called ChatPDF. Just go to chatpdf.com, upload your document as a PDF file, and the software will summarize the article without you needing to write a prompt. What I love about ChatPDF is the ability to chat with your document, asking it questions as if it were a person. I find ChatPDF provides a much more natural way to interact with new information, giving you access to the info that you're interested in without having to read the text in a specific order. ChatPDF is free for up to three documents per day. My other favorite free program is called SummerScript. Again, it can summarize and upload a document without you needing to write a prompt. But my favorite button is this one, comedy mode. Pressing this button will result in your article being summarized by a fictional AI comedian. Sounds silly, but sometimes a humorous perspective helps to make dry, boring documents way more engaging. So back to that privacy thing. What should and shouldn't you upload into a free AI model? If it's already freely available on the web, then it's probably fine to be uploaded. The large language model your generative AI system uses has probably been trained on this text anyway. You shouldn't upload any confidential information, things like private company data, board papers, private health information, or personal details, as most free AI tools could use your uploaded data for further training. They do tell you this in the terms and conditions of use, but most people don't read the small print. This makes using free tools for work tasks challenging. So you might want to ask your organization to invest in an enterprise solution. For example, ChatGPT Enterprise has options to not use data for training and not store your data for training. Remember, AI isn't perfect, but by experimenting with different tools, you're learning about what it can and can't do well, empowering you to continue to hack your life with AI.